Hello, welcome to HBP Systems Limited Opera 3 VAT processing video. This video will guide you through how to prepare your VAT return from within your Opera 3 accounting package. VAT processing can be found on your administration tab in the system section. It is here that you set up your VAT codes and there's also a facility to create VAT return adjustments. VAT is date driven specifically the tax point date on your transactions. Therefore, the tax point date on each transaction will determine which VAT return it's included on. When you run your VAT return, the start date is automatically set to the first date of the current VAT period. In other words, the day after the date of the previous VAT period. The end date defaults to either the last date of the previous month or today's date if the opera date is the last day of the month. You can create your VAT return as a report only or you can choose to commit your VAT return which means that no other transactions will be included in the selected period. If any transactions are posted with a tax point date that falls within a previously committed period they will be marked as exceptions and included in the next VAT period. We would always recommend that you run the report only before committing. This report can be run as many times as you require. As you can see, the first page of this report is the VAT return exceptions, which are items with a tax point date of a previous period. In other words, transactions with a tax point date which falls within the previous VAT return period, but were posted after that VAT return was committed. The last page of the report is the VAT return which provides you with a summary of the nine boxes containing the value, values that you would usually log on to the HMRC portal and key in. HMRC are moving away from giving you the ability to amend these figures, so if you do need to make an adjustment to any of your figures before you run your VAT return, you should do so by processing a VAT return adjustment. Once you've pr produced your VAT return, and are happy with the figures. Run it again and commit the data. It is advisable to print a hard copy and store for auditing purposes. Once you've committed the data, you can view and amend your VAT return via the VAT online process. Please note that you will not be able to manually enter or amend these figures from the 1st of April when MTD comes into force. From here you can also view previous submitted VAT returns. Once you create your online submission file, you can either launch Online Filing Manager from here or you can submit it later by launching Online Filing Manager from your desktop. You must ensure that your government gateway details have all been entered into OFM prior to attempting submission. Please note that these processes are not MTD compliant. When Pegasus released the MTD update early next year, it will use different methods of submitting the file, as it must submit via an API. However, the process of running the VAT return within Opera is likely to remain similar, so it's vital that you are using current processes of running your VAT return within Opera, and are happy with these processes, so that when the MTD comes in on the 1st of April, you don't have to review your current processing routine. For those who aren't currently using this process, you might be wondering, how do I start? If you've never used this process before, you are likely to have a significant amount of uncommitted data. Therefore, use your current method for your current return, and then taking a backup first, run your VAT return up to the end of your current return and commit the data. Do not submit. Then follow the steps in this demonstration for your next VAT return. This video covers how to process your VAT return in Opera 3. 
As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact one of the team on the HBP Group Support Desk. Thank you for listening.